Hello, hello, hello. What dynamic music here in KTS 1220 AM, one of the most fabulous stations in the United States because we've won so many community awards. Welcome back. We've gotten so many emails, texts, uh, Brian Johnson, the coach, and of course the fabulous Lindsay McCoy. And uh, at Starbucks this morning, first of all, I had lunch. Uh, we're live on uh, Facebook. Live on Facebook. Live. So I had lunch at Pyology. Is that an endorsement? I had my pedicure at uh, New York Nails. <laughs> uh, you laugh. <laughs> Once you start a pedicure, as Lindsay knows, you'll be a different man. You'll you're be a real man. Excuse me. You'll you're be a real man. Excuse me. You're laughing about my toothbrush and he's getting pedicures I've and never, I mean, I've never <laughs> seen a more anal human being that brushes his teeth ten times a day. Welcome to the that show. That is something no one has ever said. No one has ever said I'm anal. You know, here's what the compliment. Will, if you're listening, Will Mulry, he complimented us this morning. He says, you you and Lindsay are two of the smartest people. He said, why don't you change the, the show to smart people? Well, there's no question we're smart people. Uh, and everyone around us is smart. Lindsay's smart. You're smart. I'm smart. So obviously that could be it. But however, and you leave an Aaron out of this, too? Well, of course. But he, he's, the, he's the tech guy. I mean, this show would not be around without him. Hey, say hi to a very successful, fabulous new listener. She's an author, Kay Brandt. Everybody say hi to Kay Brandt. Hi, Kay. Hi, Kay. Read her books. Uh, Google her. She is really famous. Lives right here in the Santa Cruz Valley. Kay Brandt, B-R-A-N-D-T. And uh, she writes uh, really interesting. I'm not going to tell you the type of books that she writes, but when you start reading them, you can't put them down. So big shout out to you there, girl, Kay. And thanks for listening to the show. So if you're starting a business today, if you're thinking about starting a business, if your lemonade stand just isn't doing what you want it to do, this is the hour because every week, Brian and Lindsay, you know we get people saying, can you talk about new businesses? Can you talk about startups? Today's the day. Today's the day. Well, not only is it, today is the day, however, we have a very, very special guest coming on today at 2.30. At 2.30. And yeah. uh, Ron and I spoke to him earlier. Uh, Lindsay's spoken to him in the past, and he has created an logarithm for an amazing product. And you guys just can probably cannot wait to hear him. Once you do hear him, you're going to say, how did I live without him? He's got a really, really great product, and I think you're really going to be I don't all think people wait to hear stuff like that. I think people wait to get home to have their ice cream. I think people live for ice cream, not for authors like we put on. Well, first of all, Kay will be author. interested. He's not an will author. Will be. He's not an author. No, what he's is not. He? He, he software create, guy. That's right. He he created his own software, and this is about the fourth or fifth company that he's founded. So all this right. Is not if you have nothing better to do at two thirty, stay with us. Come on back. But I this, think if you what I think people should be watching this no matter what. All right. Uh, I probably agree. Go to ask Brian B R B R I E N. Why Why did you put B R I E N. Slow down, slow down on the drink in there, because I think there's a little bit too much. You're already swapping your words. Uh, caffeine. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> why, why ask Brian? B Why the name Brian? You know, B R I E N. First of all, I think you've asked that before, but you well, know, we have new listeners. Kay's a new listener. Will listens every week. Well, it's week. always expanding. Mary's constantly. listening. Mary listens in Utah. Hi, Mary Shelford. By the way, you know, we haven't, you know, had a proper introduction. You know, Lindsay, Lindsay McCoy. how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you. I'm just getting a kick out of listening to you too, Bicker. <laughs> Bicker. So, uh, starting a new business today really is not easy, is it? Brian Johnson. You know, it's not never been easy, but let me point out a couple of things. And one point that I really want to illustrate, everybody nowadays, they think startup, new business, internet. That's all they think about. The fact of the matter is, as you alluded to earlier, you could have that lemonade stand. You could have other things. You don't have to be exclusively an internet company. You don't have to exclusively think of your startup as the internet. So if you don't want to do the internet, that doesn't mean you can't start a new business. That doesn't mean you can't be successful. You probably will need to have a website. You probably will need to have some traffic, and you probably have to have something there. But that doesn't mean you have to be an internet-only company. And just because you're a startup doesn't mean you have to have the technology background to go ahead and, and, and know everything about the technology. You can actually hire people people but you can actually create as we said a lemonade stand when I was you know when I was 14 years old I don't know if you know this story but when I was 14 years old I have a friend of mine his father was a candy wholesale in Manhattan and w he and I decided to go in the candy business so we opened up a little candy store we had about 15 products there and everything was working out really really well and guess what happened what happened we did this for nine months okay we were making a good money we we're only 14 15 years old what happened well what happened Somebody came by and he said, you know, 
I can't keep on eating all this candy. My mom's yelling at me. I need to eat some food. What happened? We walked into his mom's kitchen. She had a roast beef sitting outside that was going to be the dinner. What happened? <laughs> he's got, he's I'm got getting this script I'm getting down it. here. I'm getting what? it. My God, you're putting me to sleep here. The Excuse show's me. called AskBrian.com. If you want to take a nap, here's the We're chance. telling stories. Or what's the end of the story? We went in. We took the mom's dinner for, for the roast beef. We sold it to the kid, and we made a lot of profit on that. However, it was the last profit we ever made because <laughs> the mother said, you're done. <laughs> you are funny. We're not going to sell you. We're not, we can't sell candy anymore because we're stealing the mom's dinner. <laughs> can I can I challenge you on something? You can challenge me, but you won't succeed. Oh, that's true. So here's the point. The point is, I think if you're going to start a business today, it should be an internet business. I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. Forget retail. Forget anything else. If if and we and we may hear it at two thirty today. Incidentally, is a very good guest and he's, he's extremely got a great great accent. That nice English. I wish I had an accent. Yeah, he's not from England. Where's he from? New, uh, New Jersey. No, I Australia, New England, uh, New, uh, New well, something. His, his partner is New from Wales. His partner is from Switzerland, and he has an office in Paris. So I'm guessing that he's either par either from France or Switzerland. Yeah, he threw that stuff out. France. He's got offices all over the world. You know. Well, of course, you I can, get a, ma people you can get a mailbox anywhere. I know. <laughs> all right, so I think when you start a new business, first of all, the cheap plug for my book in the thinking room, put some time into thinking. Put some time into research. Can, can I talk a little bit about what well, we, I we, think you should do and well, you can th chime in? There's no question. You can always have an opportunity. Also, we want to hear Lindsay's uh, When she position. wants to talk, she'll well, let we us want know. To hear her she has a too. signal, and she'll give it to us. She's okay? a very don't, bright person. Don't push us. <laughs> all right, so you're at, listening to Ask Brian B R I E N. I think when we make Aaron laugh, we know we're doing okay. Is right? he? Are you the laughometer? He's the. He's the. He's a laughometer. Yes. <laughs> no, but he's honest. He's an honest young man. <laughs> he's an honest young man. All right, back to the show. Ask Brian B R I E N. If you go to that show, uh, we're giving away what Starbucks stuff, a Jersey Mike stuff. Last week, uh, remember, you have to be the fiftieth caller to get. Free lunches for our, a month, a 50th caller, free lunches for a month at Jersey Mike's. And what are you giving away at Starbucks? Well, first of all, my question to you, since you're always giving away Jersey Mike's, do you want a Jersey Mike's franchise? No, but they're one of my sponsors on another show. Well, all right, back to somewhere. if you're starting a business, put some time into research. Here's what you're going to research. What are competitors doing? Not that you want to necessarily copy a competitor, but if somebody's doing very, very well, modeling some of the things that they're doing is, is a smart thing to do. Does that make sense? Marrying Let's check off the boxes. Modeling what a, a successful business is doing is a smart thing. Yes or no? It has value. Thank you. Second is look at the world, just don't look at what is going in the United States of America. Look at what the rest of the world is doing with this particular product and how they're selling it, how they're servicing it, how they're using social media. We're one world today, whether you like it or not. Yes yeah. or no, check the box. I disagree. Oh, my God. Listeners, I'm, I'm so sorry. Because, because Ron, Why is so, are you disagreeing? Ron is so focused that it can only be an Internet business that you must be competing with China and India and everything else. You, Yes, it is a global world. But the reality is if I open up a lemonade stand down the street, okay, is it really going to matter if in, if in India they've got lemonade for each cents? Is that really going to matter if I'm opening up a dry cleaner down the street? No. So in some businesses, you're correct, but not all businesses. So All right. I, I, would agree. I would check that box. I agree with you. And anytime you want to chime in, Lindsay, let me know. Well, Ron, I agree with you. I, I think that Thank things are you. transitioning to, to online. And Brian, I'd like you to elaborate a little bit more on that and back your, back that up. Okay. Well, if you're going to open up a dry cleaner, okay, if you're going to open up a dry cleaner, what do you need? The why do you need to know what the price of dry cleaning is in India? Because they may be using well, a chemical, they may be using products. Absolutely. They may be using products that you can use here. You could buy products uh, that would be very inexpensive and pass on so those the, savings to the customer. So the gasoline station down the street, the Chevron gasoline station, really matters. That that in, in China it's twenty cents a gallon and it's two dollars and ninety Look, cents. Look, you're a, gallon a very here. wealthy, successful, extremely successful, smart guy with an office and avenue of the stars. Look. I'm a working class guy. I, 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 I'm a guy from the streets, all right? I've I, seen your car. Okay. Uh, I got lucky there. <laughs> uh, so 
I want to save a dollar or two. I'm interested in helping our listeners save money. And uh, if they can go to a merchant that's a smarter merchant. Look, you're a smart guy. You use, uh, you use technology to help you in your law practice. I know you do. And Lindsay does in a real estate profession. So all Lindsay and I are saying to you is that the smart money, the real smart money is in the Internet. You know why? You don't have to pay huge rents. Right? So if you start a business and you have to go sign a three year, and Lindsay knows this, a three or five year lease, and then you have utility bills, you have overhead before you even start. You can start an internet business for very little money. We're not debating whether or not an internet internet industry is a good area. What I'm saying is that it's the, not the only area for a startup. And if you're going to open up a dry cleaner down the street, that was the example. If you're going to open up the dry cleaner down the street, it's not going to really matter what the price of dry cleaning is in India and your competitors in India. You need your competitors in your area. You need to focus on. So if you're going to open up a dry cleaner, you need to find out it, within three miles how many dry cleaners are in there, that area. You need to focus on the local area for that pro product. You don't always have to have go on online and do something something global for every single product. There are local products. So if you go to your website, which is a great little site, Ask Brian, B-R-I-E-N, you can ask you any question and get... A, or Lindsay. Or Lindsay, and, and get a uh, straightforward answer. Well, that's where we are very genuine people. That is one thing that we, are, we definitely believe in. We're live here on Facebook at KHTS AM 1220. Also, we have a great app. If you're listening to our show, uh, or all the shows on KHTS, go to your app store. Download the app. It's the best radio app in America. I'm not lying. It's the best radio app in America. We've won all kinds of awards. Uh, AM 1220 in the app store. We're talking about startup businesses. And don't uh, forget about the S. Brian app. You have an app? We have an app. It's on Android and iPhone. And it's a nice app, too. You put a lot of money in that app. That is really a good app. What is your goal with AskBrian.com? You really you want to give back. I tease you all the time, but you actually want to give back to the little guy, and I like that about you. That's exactly right. We want to help people out. We, we feel that if we can help people grow their business, if we feel that we can help people start a business, that they're going to be so empowered, so grateful that, oh, my God, you helped us start that business. I'm not worried about it down the road. People are going to be so grateful that we've helped them out. They're going to constantly come back, and they're going to recommend people, and that's what people have been doing. That's why we're growing our site. Our, our site is growing because other people are realizing, you know what? I don't have the money to go out and, and figure out how to start this thing up, but you know what? I can ask Brian. I'm going to get my answer, that, and I'm going to get my answer quick. I don't have to wait three months or read t ten books or call a consultant, spend fifteen thousand dollars, and be up, you know, find out that down the road that oh my God, I spent all my money. I can spend my money on my business, and these people are going to help me out. That's what they want, and they love it, and they keep on coming back. They're downloading our apps. They're asking more questions, and we're getting users by the day. Ask Brian's a good idea because I'm a business coach. You know that. A lot of you employ me now, and you pay me pretty good money. You and can, you're the Bill Belichick of coaching, by the way. I'm the Bill Belichick of coaching, business coaching. But you can go to Ask Brian, B-R-I-E-N, and probably get the same questions answered that you call and ask me, and I charge you. I charge you by the minute. And your stuff is free, which is great. Thank you for doing that. I, I want to focus a little bit because we are talking about startups. I want to focus a little bit on all that we're talking about is informational information. What I want to find out, I want to help people out is, okay, I got an idea and I want to start this business. I've done my research. Now what do I do? That's what people need to know. Okay, so great. I got this great idea. I'm, I, I want to put it on the internet. I want to open up my lemonade stand. I don't know what to do. All right. The first That's thing you need to do is have a very good accounting person. Mo most people, nobody understands the IRS code. So the first thing you need to do is set your business up properly financially, right? Should it be a corporation, a partnership, a sole proprietor? Except I, I would probably go to a lawyer from my legal background based on the fact that I know that accountants can do it, but reality-wise, most lawyers are charging less than accountants. Most people are unaware of that. You do need to have a good accountant, and you need to have uh, this. That is definitely part of a team. You need a team. You can't just concentrate on one person. So you need a good lawyer, good business lawyer. You need, you need a good accountant. Good doctor, lawyer, and Indian chief. <laughs> You do. Well, she's the Indian chief. Yeah, no, you do. <laughs> but seriously, you need to have uh, somebody that's protecting your back with the IRS and, and 
from me to you, I love the IRS. I'm just telling you that, okay? But you, you have to have good legal advice. And this is where I think a lot of people go off the track. They have a great idea. They have a passion. They might even have an expertise. But they don't put just what you said, and I hate to patronize you, they don't put the right team together. You've got to have a team today. You know what? The fact of the matter is is that I was told a long time ago, you know what? What if were you, you hire, told a long time ago? Hire people that are smarter than you. Amen. If you hire people that are smarter than you, then your team will strive for success and will achieve that success. So that's Amen. A very, very important. So can I ask Brian a question? Why do they put these salt things in, in cases? This well, it's not technically a business question, but I will answer it, although this Lindsay probably has a better answer. But I'm going to tell you it's for sanitary purposes, okay, by bas basically keeping the insides fresh and clean. Bingo. See, there you go. Go to askbrian.com, B-R-I-E-N, and, and you get your answer. He made it up, but it's a good answer. And I How do you know you. I made it up? I don't know. And, uh, this says silica. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> the show is called Ask Brian. The station is one of the best radio stations because they, well, we have a big listening audience here in Southern California, and we got really a lot of great shows on KHTS AM 1220 and uh, I listen to the shows all day long and I learn a lot of stuff I really do and uh, local people so it's fun you all know right. I'm very I'm very concerned because Lindsay's writing down all these questions that she's gonna ask our next next guest and I think the, the next guest is gonna why be, are oh you my bugging God. her she will <laughs> contribute she will ask questions when she's ready leave her alone my god <laughs> Oh, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're talking about starting a business. So you know we talked about doing your research, doing your homework, what are the competitors are doing. Uh, here's what I would say. Can we talk about niches for a second? I'm saying you make your money like Lindsay sells big homes. So if you're looking for a multi-million dollar house, you call Lindsay McCoy. It's that simple. Th that she knows, first of all, look how professional dress she is. She looks like a million dollars. I mean, she, look at her. If you're on Facebook <laughs> Looks Live, like a million dollars. She is a million dollars. Does that look like a million dollars to you? Look on Facebook Live right now. You know now. what? That's a million dollar I'm look. I'm sorry. Oh, is that Facebook? It's not. Oh, is this where I've been looking? Why am I looking up here? I'm you don't know where you're you. looking. I'm looking here. You're looking into space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at you right now. So we get thousands of people uh, looking at us. Excuse uh, me, if she's selling... I'm looking at fate. I can't be bothered right now. Well, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the reality is if somebody's selling houses that are multi-million houses, then she's not a million dollars. She's multi-million. So well, she's multi-million. I think you made a mistake. Lindsay's multi-million. That would not be the first Ron, mistake. Ron, I'm low profile here. You know, I have some high-end <laughs> clients. I'm trying to protect their, uh, you know, identities here. <laughs> are they in the witness protection program, too? It, it, exactly. Back to, uh, what was I saying before I was rudely interrupted? Uh, well, I'll just take over, so no big deal. Take over. Go. Well, first of all, I wanted to get a little bit more practical here. So, last week we talked about partnerships, and Coach alluded to the fact that we need to have the proper entity and those are probably the first two steps you need once you get an idea you need to have the proper entity because I can't tell you how many times people come in and they have a partnership and people say hey I got a partnership and uh, you know that's fine well what happens well partnership in a partnership situation each partner is personally liable so they don't have the protections that an LLC or a corporation have so that's the foundation you have to set it up correctly okay and we talked about partnerships earlier about the fact that you have to specify what the duties of each partner are, what's going to happen when the money comes in, and picking the right partner is a very, very serious I would not even point. have partners. I, I'm looking at you. I'm talking to you right now. Don't have partners. You don't need partners. We Part are, partners get you into trouble. That's they, just my they, opinion. Well, my that, opinion. Yeah, it's an opinion. Okay. I don't think you can do everything on your own. It's no, just too much work. No, but you don't work. need partners. You can you can have relationships without calling them a partner. I mean, why do you have to Never mind. We're, we have to go to break. We're coming back with a great guest. I've talked about this for the last couple of weeks. Why, why do you have to have a partner when you can do things, have cooperation, cooperation with everybody, financial cooperation without signing partnership agreements? You know Partnerships what? never work out. Divorce, marriages don't work out. 65 Excuse me. How long have you been married? Longer than you've been alive. That's son. right. So don't tell me marriages don't work. I got okay, lucky. Okay, okay. Behind every great <laughs> man, there's a great woman, right? I agree so with I, her. I'm married a to a great woman. I love my wife. I agree with that. Ellen, <laughs> and she is a fabulous woman, my best friend. I love you to death. Hi, sweetie. Hi. She doesn't watch the show. 
Never has, never will. Uh, she gets the show at home. <laughs> we'll be right back. 24 it's, hours a day with Ron. That's ask, quite a show. That's called Ask Brian. <laughs> B -R uh, that's what she says. We'll be right back on AskBrian.com.